I was very pleased to be head of the selection committee of the Human Cities Design Award in 2019 and 2020. And the main thing I realized was that the award is getting better and better. The qualities of the proposals were really outstanding and they came from several continents. And of course, as usual, it's very difficult to decide on a winner. And we had 10 finalists, which we found very easy to choose because they were all really wonderful in their own way. I mean, some, of course, were very large scale, looking at whole landscapes. Others were very specific projects like a hotel or a wonderful cemetery that, for well-being in Korea. And uh, there was another one which was in a favela in Brazil. So I found that really in, enriching, I must say. Now, of course, the Human Cities Design Award is really about what is the future vision of our cities. And we all know that we're at a dramatic moment and the pandemic has made us rethink what we can achieve. And what I believe is, is that there is a silver lining in this whole process, i.e. there are possibilities. And quite often, as we all know, the impossible became possible. And design, designing streets, environments, and all of that, was a very important part of that process. Now, in terms of our screening, of course, there are different jurors. We have different experiences, different priorities. Some of us have actually seen the projects we've selected. Others can only work from what they have seen and the presentation materials given. But I think in the end, we came to a fair conclusion. And broadly, there was a unanimity about who should be the prize winners. Anyway, all of these things are in process. We hope in 2021, we'll make it even better because what we want is the Human Cities Design Award to be something that is really globally recognized as one of the major prizes to encourage a new form of thinking about design that is human-centered, balanced, that is for the people, and that creates a much more harmonious type of city. So thank you very much.